Hey, 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 and welcome back, guys. Uh, Crazy Dax here. No, <laughs> welcome back with another game of Thingsy. Um, we have something sent in to us. So, we just was just finished streaming uh, Rome today, and we thought Bobby was um, in the game with us. Well, he wasn't, uh, clearly. So, instead, we are casting a Bobby game, and uh, it's a quite unique map. Okay, so the rules were, and I'm, I'm gonna put this on slow motion. Uh, where they read the rules. These guys are land battle professionals. Um, they are just absolutely beasts. Okay, 5k funds, 5 units per player, maximum 2 of them cavalry. This would include, if they are 2 missile cavalry, maximum 3 for skirmishers. This is insane, right? Uh, this is quite going to be micro intensive. So, the armies are Pontus, uh, Masaisli, Saba, and. Tillis over here. Then we have Sparta, uh, our Venai, and the Macedon, and Seleucids. Looking at the army compositions, they're going to be quite interesting. So we have Marib Kama Cataphracts, Mary, two Marib Kama Cataphracts, and a front line of Muscat Marauders over there. Quite interesting formation. Potagirl Cavalry, two of them for Pontus, and he has Bronze Shield Pikemen and Pontipeltas, three Oatsworn for Tillis and two raiding horsemen uh, where they're trading with Tarantine Cavalry. Now Tarantine Cavalry for Sparta seems slightly better than raiding horsemen but they will lose two versus one and Numiji Noble Cavalry doo -doo -doo -doo, for Masaisley along with uh, Noble Numiji Infantry two of them and get to the tribesmen and for Sparta so we have Tarantine Cav over there, Cretan Archers Royal Spartans and Heroes of Sparta, three Oatsworn, and I imagine two Gallic Hunters for our Venai, a Silver Shield Pikemen, uh, three of them for Seleucids, Shield Bearers for Macedon. There is a Greek Scorpion, which is really interesting because any kills with that is good kills. Mijin Cavalry, more Cretan Archers, and Thessalonian Cavalry. Now, the main issue here is that the. Uh, the Greeks, basically, and the uh, Arveni over here are getting really hand in. The Gallic Hunter is getting quite hand in. That Camel Cataphract can do so much damage. Pontic Peltas going in position. As, as uh, yeah, as completely expected, those Tarantine Cavalry didn't do much. The Raiding Horsemen, the support of the Numidian Cavalry, doing really well. Camel Cataphract, boof! Charging straight through the Oatsworn massacring him and then straight into the Gallic Hunters. The Oats were more moving, misclick by the Arvani player costing him the game instantly and I'm gonna say that the game is lost simply because these Gallic Hunters were completely removed that is two-thirds sorry two-fifths of his army gone and now he's gonna get cycle charge or, or as good as Oats were are they're already down so many men and these guys are getting the kills this Oatsworn unit really not doing well, and they're fighting Mar Muscat Marauders who are really good on the charge. The Oatsworn over here not having a fun time. Uh, Camel Cataphrax just completely massacring this flank. Uh, pikes are charging in, but they're getting shot down by the uh, Cretan Archers over there. The Cretan Archers themselves are surrounded, and lots of damage is being dealt. The Greek Scorpion not doing that well. Over here, oh, there was a charge over here as well. What happened? Okay, those Silver Shield Pikemen do got some really good kills. It seems they massacred the Gatuli Spears over there. And on this side, uh, the Oatsworn, sorry, the Arveni troops are getting demolished. The Oatsworn are holding their own, considering the massacre they're su surviving, but that won't last long. The uh, Sabian General just charging those Cretan archers, ruining them. Royal Spartans fighting Bronze Shield Swordsmen over there. And they're not going to do well. The Camel Cataphracts, 257 kills, doing really well on 170 kills over there. This is Sparta and Arveni pretty much out. Uh, Sparta got singled out, and uh, Arveni was the killing power of this army. Unfortunately, got destroyed. The Silver Shield Pikemen are moving into position as fast as possible. The Shield Bearers are holding the flanks. Uh, flanks of the shield uh, the pikemen and uh it's the the, oof, the cavalry now just imagine just how difficult it is to kill the whole spartans and here of sparta with cavalry but it's happening the oats were now charging in after the units were lost their formation and they're being picked off bronze shields so uh, pikemen losing 
the heroes of Sparta. That is, yeah, that, that's how strong these guys are. These guys are just unbreakable beasts of war. 53 attack on, wait, yeah, 53 attack and 29 weapon damage on his peers. Muscat Marauders preparing themselves to charge in. The uh, Noble Numidian Cavalry getting into the flanks of this unit and trying to pull through using the uh, shield screen, which is a decent tactic, but uh, not pull through, disengage, sorry, and pull through is use, the wrong use. The Silver Shield Pikemen pulling back. Um, over here, the units are trying to form lines and ranks of sorts. And yeah, the pikemen are pulling back to this side, trying to do something. The scorpion not really paying for himself at all. Fast battle, uh, not going well. The bronze pikemen are doing their thing over there. The oatsborn is dealing with Sparta, killing all of the Spartans relatively easily. And the muskrat marauders over here, charging straight into those Median cavalry with the support of the Kama cataphracts, just breaking that and the Thessalonian cavalry. Now charging into the general silver sh shield uh, general over there. The Canterbury Circle, you don't get to see it often from the Numidian Noble Cavalry, doing really, really high amounts of damage. Now they break the formation and just run in uh, into the rear of this. The formation is pretty much broken and they're trying to do their best to hold the line, but this is this is gone. The Gamma Cataphrax charging in, just destroying any form of missile superiority that the uh, Greeks had and they're just going to do uh, as they wish inside of exactly sir inside of this formation Numbul Numidian over there should eventually beat the shield bearers they have way way more resources there and Numidian Noble Cavalry doing beautiful God's work over here supporting this general killing the silver shield pikemen as along with this Noble Cavalry or uh, Noble Infantry charges into these shield bearers left right and center these uh, pikemen are trying to form a, a rank of sorts but it's not going well the noble Numidians over here not should not be fighting the pikemen in the way they are sparta has been finally cleared off uh, with minimal losses from Tillis' side the pontus uh Paltus over there the pontus Paltus is doing really well the bronze shield pikemen should be moving in a charge coming in from the pontic cavalry just coming into the side of the Silver Shield Pikemen and the Merry Camel Cataphracts doing their magic, charging into the Pikemen, which does not have their spears up at the moment. They got their spears in halfway through the charge. They will get a few kills. The Merry Cataphracts over here are dropping down like flies because of the pikes uh, being so good. But now Pila coming in from the Raiding Horseman and this Silver Shield Pikeman is getting picked off. Masgraf Marauders having the time of their life on these Silver Shield Pikemen who are not even getting as many kills as they should be. Um, yeah, this is just a complete massacre. Absolute massacre. And doesn't mean that the Greeks and the Arvani were bad players, not at all. It's just when you play with different rule sets, and which just happened with us today, you change the rule sets and it's quite fun to play with and just changes things up quite significantly and the game just feels different. It's difficult to balance out the power of what normal units do because these pikemen do really well if they have proper units defending their sides, and maybe even they weren't even uh, units like uh, so they weren't even in, uh, in a group chat, and that makes a big difference as we saw. Poor Azot getting really bad teammates, unfortunately. But again, he just I must say, hats off to him. He played like a champ. The shield bearer is holding their own, doing really well. Uh, the Panthers are dying. The general died for Pontus? Uh, not necessarily, no. The Academy come, come, well, come. Camel Cataphracts. Hmm. Hmm. Camel Cataphracts. Sorry, my tongue got twisted there. General died for Saba, or he's been pushed off the battlefield. Um, these shield bearers are getting picked off. They're back to back. No, they're not. They should have been back to back. Uh, tight for they should have walked into a very tight mid formation and marched forward. They wouldn't have been able to defeat, um, or they would have had a chance to defeat the Pontic, uh, Sabian, uh, Masesli, and Tilly players over here. Uh, Oatsworn charging in. Jesus, these Oatsworn are scary. They're scary. They're very, very scary, actually. They barely used any of their. Uh, combat power and they're doing so well the shield bearers themselves though like 
holding on for dear life. 152 pulls over there, 64 over here, and 100 over here. Considering the massacre they're su su surviving, they're doing better than Spartans, but mostly again, Spartans were cut off quite isolated from each other, and they were charged fully by um, full units of camel cataphracts, which, as you can see, aren't in the best, best state of mind right now. The general seems to be dying over here. Once the general dies, these guys should not really do that well. The general is on the verge of breaking down 42 men. Uh, Raise the banners has been triggered again uh, by the dominating team over here. And um, shield bearer is dying really fast and really quickly. The pentas are being pulled off. These guys are still doing their own thing. Now, uh, even if he dies, yeah, army losses. Yeah, army losses got triggered. I was gonna say, even if he dies, these guys have decent morale and courage that they keep themselves in the fight. But once army losses hits, it's GG. That was a very fast game. So Bobby uh, Saba doing really well. Uh, 1,168 kills, like just absolute beast. Uh, DMC, DM Claren 91 uh, doing really well as well, but not as good. Um, Jasper, uh, quite nice meme with the Numidians, like he was doing a lot of damage, but of course they got slaughtered by the uh, Spears. And Shadow King didn't even get to use his army, he lost 67 men and killed so much. Stratos doing the best from his team, yeah, doing the best from his team. Um, he, I wouldn't have gotten a Greek Scorpion, maybe I would even have gotten only one Pikeman, and then the rest I would have gotten either raw Paltests or even... Um, Shield bearers, because as we see the shield bearers over here holding well, a shield bearer wedge formation would have done well with the raw Spartans inside. I wouldn't have gotten here as a Sparta, raw Spartans, and then uh, two slinger units because of their speed. Again, two slinger units, so their speed and their damage that would have done, especially to the horses. And maybe with here, uh, instead of three oats worn, uh, an oats worn, uh, maybe two noble cavalry and three chosen uh, would have been also good to have. Would have done a lot of damage. And the Noble Cavalry would have dealt with the potential cav of the Kama Cataphracts as well as the Numidian Nobles. Again, the cavalry superiority was quite obvious and that did the game. Cavalry in small games do really well. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe. If you didn't, don't subscribe. Uh, <laughs> but again, tell me, what do you think of these um, game modes? They're small game modes, shorter, sweeter. I don't know. Uh, it's quite fun to ch change up on the game. But anyway... With that said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!